Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. First of all, happy October. What's up to all my fellow Scorpios? If you are new here, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you take something from this video and I hope that it can be um, a tool that you'll be able to carry on and implement into your life to just help you elevate to the next level, feel me? And um, if you're not new here, hey y'all, hey girl, what's poppin'? I really wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about the tools or like the things that have really helped me to change my life um, and just really helped me to elevate by leveling up my mindset and by just leveling up, period. Like getting specific about the things that you desire and not so specific in a sense of something that may not be able to be fulfilled, but getting specific about what it is that the type of person that you want to become, the type of woman that you want to become, the type of man that you want to become. Like getting specific about that and, and starting to visualize that is really so powerful and being conscious of the type of information that you consume and just the way that you carry yourself and the way that you flow through life is so powerful to help you change your life and just help you to get to the opportunities that you're desiring or help you to make it through whatever struggle you might be going through and get to that next season. This is for all aspects of life. Y'all already know, mind, body, and soul wellness is so important to me. Y'all already know how I'm coming, so. I cannot stress enough how important it is to really practice mindfulness and really um, be more conscious of, like I said, the type of information you consume. So I think one of the biggest things that has helped me to really level up in this lifetime is manifesting. Manifestation is... There are so many videos that you can watch on YouTube talking about manifestation and there are so many places that you can get great information about manifesting. But manifesting is literally speaking life into your desires and taking the actionable steps towards, can't forget that part, taking the actionable steps towards getting yourself there. I think so often we look at work or we look at um, a goal we might have in a career or a goal we might have for school or just a goal you have in your personal life and you look at it and you can tend to look at it from a very narrow perspective thinking that if you just complete all of the steps that's what will get you there but you have to really like believe and and speak life into the desires that you have and set your mind on it and make sure that everything that operates in your world is supportive of that like everything that you consume every move that you make supports the person that you're working to become and supports the life that you desire to have and i'm not saying you have to be like oh so calculated although i tend to definitely be a very calculated person like for instance when i first moved to atlanta back in january i have been speaking life into the fact that i wanted to move for a long time i started going through the process of really visualizing that and speaking life into it and looking through the logistics of it like what do i need to do in order to be able to actually accomplish this goal like what are the steps that i need to take what does that look like for me what does my life in atlanta what would that look like you know these are all the things that i calculated i spoke life into it being mindful of the steps that you take to get there and the conversations that you're a part of on the way the type of people that you hang around the type of information like i said that you consume all that was so so important for me i created that goal and i locked in on it and i couldn't see nothing that wasn't like going towards that but i manifested that i was going to move to atlanta and that i was going to have my own space and that my space was going to be a sacred space a space that I could heal and a space that I could grow like a space that I could feel safe and just like relax take the superwoman cape off for the day once I get back in the door you know like and and all of that has come to fruition for me and I manifested it and I also put the work in and when I say visualizing it like I have been looking at apartments online I have been watching YouTube videos of like Atlanta apartment tours different stuff like that and then I decided that I was going to fly out here and come look at a Apartments. And so I bought myself a plane ticket. I flew to Atlanta. I got myself a hotel room. I stacked my coins. I was stacking my coins because it was something that I knew I was working towards and I was starting to shift my mindset about it. And so I flew out here. I got a hotel room. I spent like two days looking at apartments and I seen so many different apartments and it helped me to visualize this is what I want. This is what I don't want. This is an area that I like. This is something I could do without. I really need to live in a gated community. Like that was a non-negotiable for me. 
and through me coming here and visualizing it and seeing it and walking and smelling the air and walking through that life, it allowed me to really feel like speak life into what I had been manifesting. And like three weeks later, I moved to Atlanta. And this is not about a timeline thing. Don't don't get that confused. I'm just saying that like I locked in on it and I visualized it and I showed up and did all those things and then the opportunity presented itself for me to bust that move and I was able to make the move because of the fact that I was ready and I was in alignment. So as I mentioned, being conscious of what you consume is very, very important. I started listening to lots of motivational audio. I would just have it like, I would have I have like motivational audio playing as I'm moving around throughout my morning, like getting situated and getting myself set up for the day. If you guys haven't seen my 6 a.m. morning routine, I will link that video up here for you guys because, because you guys will see in there the type of motivational audio that I listen to and just how I move and shake throughout and some of those habits that I have to have a productive day. I started listening to a lot more podcasts recently. I've also been listening to a lot of podcasts. Podcasts and motivational audio go hand in hand for me because like I said, I gotta be mindful of what I consume point blank in the period. So listening to podcasts that are still like motivational audio or like girl chat with somebody that's like talking some real ish, okay? Like really talking about like how to level up and how to elevate and things of that nature. I'm all here for it. I've been listening to the Manifest Daily podcast lately and I absolutely love it. If you guys haven't checked out the Manifest Daily podcast, definitely make sure to check it out. I will link it down below for you guys. I actually heard about the Manifest Daily podcast through Aaliyah's face. I was watching one of her vlogs like a few, a few weeks ago, I feel like. And I started listening to this podcast and y'all, when I say hooked, like I listen to it in the car. I listen to it when and I'm working, like maybe I'm editing pictures or I'm doing something where I don't need to be thinking about words at that moment. If I'm editing a video and I listen to that play, like the first episode that I listened to on her podcast is called, it's episode 139, Aligned, Seven Ways to Know That You're in Alignment. She also has a super great podcast on the universal law, so the law of assumption versus the law of attraction. I listened to this podcast. I took myself on a little weekday lunch date to Flower Child like two weeks ago, and when I was driving there, I was listening to this, and I went, I didn't bring my computer or anything to lunch because I didn't want to actually do any work. I just wanted to allow my brain to get back in that creative space and just think through what my structure was going to be I feel like my brain was kind of chaotic and, and feeling a little bit overwhelmed and feeling a little like I need to reapproach some things and reprocess some things. And so I was listening to her podcast and writing down just different notes that I was hearing um, and just thinking through ways that I wanted to approach my personal situation just from listening to her talk about topics like universal laws, like the law of attraction or listen to her, listening to her talk about alignment. She talks about like the episode that I listened to today is called That's So Sabotage and it was talking about self-sabotage. So I really, really love her content and I'm so here for content that just allows us to have conversations about things that we're really going through. These 20 somethings y'all, that's a whole nother video, okay? Like that right there is a whole nother story for another day. But but yes, yeah, so I love to listen to her podcast and it's really like having a conversation with one of your girls, like listening to her talk and think through different things and validate the experiences that you're going through and also like celebrating wins. Like love to see it, it's great content and it really feeds the soul and that's what I'm all about. Some of my other favorite creators are The Fine Guru, who I've mentioned to you guys before. I absolutely love her channel and she also posts a lot of motivational audio videos and just a lot of videos around like wholesome and holistic living. And it's just like feel good, like good quality, good for your mind, body, and soul content. So I listened to the motivational audio that she has on her channel. She has like a 21 day motivational audio challenge. I linked it in my previous video. I listen to that every day and from that I started listening to Abraham Hicks or Esther Hicks and it really is so profound to hear people speak about I love opportunities for brain food and for opportunities to learn and grow on a soul level and I love listening to Abraham Hicks as I'm like walking around 
doing laundry, as I'm working, different stuff like that. I love hearing the way that Abraham Hicks breaks down manifestation and breaks down like being able to achieve the desires that we have and understanding that there is a balance of like manifesting it and working towards it and you go with the flow of the stream rather than going against the current. Definitely check out Abraham Hicks because I could be here all day trying to, I almost say Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Definitely check out Abraham Hicks, Esther Hicks videos because I could be here all day talking about this child and we got other things to talk about. But listening to motivational audio like that really allows me to visualize my highest self and show up as her and understand like she's been here the whole time. Like even through the ebbs and flows that we go through in life and the different experiences that we have, like your highest self is always here. It's your responsibility to wake up and show up for yourself every day and, and reach that potential that you can. That's how you create these opportunities and you get the opportunity to visualize all the things that your heart desires. I also love to watch, like I mentioned, Aaliyah's face and my sis Shanice, Miss Shanice Crystal. She's not natural Nisi no more. Um, I love her vlogs. I love seeing just like her working and walking around the city and living her best life, just like, living her best life and being productive but still being human not being like robotic that it doesn't feel relatable it feels like the type of content where where again it's like watching somebody that makes you want to be like let me get up and finish the tasks that i set for myself today and accomplish the goals that i need to reach because like i want to be able to manifest the desires of my life and i think watching people watching relatable content from people who you resonate with seeing them thrive and seeing them grow and watching the journey over time that is such a beautiful thing and so i love content from those types of creators because it really just helps to feel like we're all growing on this journey together and social media can really have you tripping feeling like well um i don't have six figures and i just graduated college and why am I not in Jamaica and why um, don't I have like the nicest apartment in the whole world? You know, like I know, like why don't I drive a SRT? Like these are the things, okay? Like, but yeah, so just consuming content and watching creators that are going through the ebbs and flows of everyday life and still being productive and enjoying the everyday life. Like I think that is great quality content to consume. Working out is another thing that has been really big for me in terms of my holistic health journey and in terms of me leveling up and just changing my life overall. Working out has become a part of my routine and it has become like a stress reliever for me. It has become something that I look forward to and something that makes me feel proud of myself because when your body starts to get physically tired and your and my mind pushes me to keep going and I keep going I can sit back and look at like wow look at all that my body can do look how strong you are look how courageous you are like these are the type of things that I tell myself like when I'm running this is what I'm telling myself when I'm doing workouts and I don't feel like doing another rep like this is what I'm telling myself and just adding that into a part of my daily routine and not so much to see results but to really incorporate it as a lifestyle choice has really helped promote a healthy balance in my life. I'm all about more of what feels good and less of what doesn't. So spending time getting to know yourself and loving yourself and learning yourself is so, so important and nourishing and honoring your soul is what allows you to know what it is that you like and what it is that feels good and feels right and what is in alignment with you. And it allows you to be able to, like your radar goes off quicker when something's out of alignment for you, you'll know like, mm, that ain't it. I love to listen to powerful women speak as I've mentioned and so anytime that I hear an affirmation that really resonates I'll write it down and I really like reflect on that and I use that as my centering thought in meditation there's the concept of having a centering thought your centering thought can really be anything and it's just something simple just a positive affirmation and so some of the most powerful positive affirmations that I've picked up along the way for me are as you are where you are I say that to myself so many times throughout the day in my head and I write it down like loving on yourself exactly where you are as you are like being proud of yourself as you are where you are understanding that you are enough as you are where you are creating this type of dialogue with yourself internally and believing it and looking forward to it and and being proud of it and and just honoring that is so so important 
to your ability to grow and your ability to get all of the things that are out here waiting for you to get it you got to believe that in your heart so reflecting on affirmations like as you are where you are or visualizing my highest self and showing up as her or balance like these types of things they can be so it can really be such a simple trait that you want to master it doesn't need to be anything complex and it's not so much that you're trying to master it as you are just speaking life into that and it manifests in your life you see stuff start to change before your eyes I also read a lot, as you guys can probably see, and I've always been like somebody that likes to read, but I definitely fell off of it when I got, when I went through that like high school, college type of phase when it's not really cool to do no more and you got a whole bunch of homework and ain't nobody trying to really read, like and all that kind of, that, that phase. But yes, reading stories and allowing my mind to get lost in the pages of a book um, and really like be captured by that story is something that I really enjoy and it's something that really forces my brain to just focus on one thing. A lot of times when you're apprehensive or you're anxious or you got a lot going on or you want to do well and you're still like fixated on the concept of wanting to do well, not the art of just letting it flow and showing up every day and doing well naturally, like you're fixated on the, the end goal, so to speak. Getting lost in the pages of a book, for me, allows me to really force my brain to focus because like, you already know the vibes. You remember in school, like when you would read and you get to the bottom of the page and you realize that you don't know not one word that you just read out this page. I don't even understand what just happened in this whole page because my brain spaced out and you gotta go back to the top of the page and read it over again for you to be able to retain the information. So I think, just that mental practice, it's like mental gymnastics or like a mental exercise, so to speak, like of just really allowing my brain and training my brain through things that I enjoy to just slow down and just focus on what's right here at this exact moment and not, not like fly off into the stars like I tend to do sometimes. But yeah, I'm gonna stop this video here because I could talk all day. And if you guys wanna hear more about any specific topic that I talked about, or you would like to see how I implement some of these things in my personal life, let me know. I'd be happy to create that content for you guys. I hope that you gained some helpful tools in this video to just help you get your life and keep pushing towards your dreams. Comment down below and let me know if any type of content you would like to see, anything you want me to talk about, anything you want me to review. Yeah, let me know, holla at your girl. Also, I am gonna be moving again soon. It's getting ready to be that time of the year, so I will be taking you guys along on that journey because I know y'all loved my moving vlog. That vlog has so many views, it's not even funny. So I'll definitely be bringing you guys along on this journey with me. And until next time, I will see you guys later.